All right, what's going on guys? Uh, just checking some comments on this channel and realized I hadn't uploaded a video seven months since I did that last one. Uh, didn't realize how much time had gone by. I had a job after I posted that last video. I had a job that was just sucking the life out of me. I was just hating the whole world. But anyways, uh, i got a new job now. Trying to get back into the swing of posting videos. It's really hard to, to film videos on a boat. Um, especially with my minimis, minimalist lifestyle. I don't have a tripod. You know, I got the camera balanced on a cushion over here. All my gear and stuff, I, you know, I got rid of everything I own pretty much except for my guitars, um, some of the cameras, but I didn't bring like the big tripods and all that. And obviously the lighting's terrible. <laughs> but anyways, uh, trying to get back in the swing of it because now it's January uh, 2023. So hope everybody's having a good start to their new year. I uh, just thought I'd make this update video, let you know what's going on. Uh, and if you if you watch my last video, you'll notice I'm in a different uh, boat. Uh, I still have the old boat, but I bought a new one. This is a 1983 uh, Genoa Italia 32. Um, it's a pretty cool boat. Needs a lot of work. Uh, I didn't really... It wasn't my next choice, you know, my best choice for my next boat. But the price was just insanely cheap. Um, I knew the people that were selling it. And so I bought it anyways. Um, but I moved on it way too quick because... You know, I don't have uh, the water tank hooked up, the propane stove. I haven't seen if that's all, you know, safe and stuff. And the wiring's a little sketchy. And I'd give you a little tour, but it's an absolute wreck because I'm working on it. You can see over here, trying to redo some of this. And it's just, it's just a mess. But anyways, uh, hopefully I'll get back into the swing of making videos. I got a new job. I work over at the Washington Yacht and Country Club, which is freaking awesome. I love it. It's so nice to have a job that I really... Uh, love instead of the old one where it's just sucking the life out of me. It was insane. Uh, but this is great because I live right here in the uh, the marina, McCotter's Marina in Washington, North Carolina. And then the marina I work at is like 200 yards uh, up the river. And so life is good. It's nothing but nonstop boats and marina all day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So hopefully I'll do some uh, more filming. We tried to film a little bit here in this marina at night, like, uh, like a it was like Friday or Saturday night because it's just hilarious. You never know what's going to happen here, but it was a little weird. Uh, but I would like to film some of it because marina life is very interesting uh, to say the least. So I'm going to post uh, some videos that I wanted to. The other reason I wasn't posting too, and then I was so much time went by, I wanted to keep it all in a timeline to where you kind of see you know where I started here and where I was going and things I was doing but so much time has went by you know like now I have a brand new boat so the last video I made was on the old boat boat and I didn't even do a tour of it um, or anything so I'm like to heck with it just gonna post some stuff so I'll post a couple videos um, I've been putting on my Facebook like uh, I made some when I was bringing this boat back uh, it was about a two-day sail to get this boat boat back to my marina um, but it was really hard. It was, it was, I wanted to chronicle the whole journey, but this boat hadn't been in the water in 10, 15 years. And it was just, it was way too much. It was just, there was too much going on. I had uh, a friend with me helping me, but was, there was always something going on, something we had to check on, something breaking. And I just couldn't, I couldn't film. I didn't want to film. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I had all my faux pro and my mounts and stuff, put them on your hat, put them on your chest. But I just didn't have time because it was very nerve wracking to take a boat and spend sitting for so long, drop it in the water and just go, you know, and especially when we left, it was super windy. Um, the current, the waves and the wind, I was just like, holy crap, this is insane. We're dropping this boat in the water after 10 or 15 years and we got two days sail to get it back home. So it all went well. I'll post a couple videos. They're not real good, uh, but then I'll try to get back into making, making some better videos uh, of my adventure out here on the sailboat. And especially this one, this one's going to take a lot of work to recondition it. So I'll probably just do some before and afters. I'm not going to film the whole how I fix stuff because, you know, I'll be making it up as I go along, right? So anyways, hope everybody's having a good start to their New Year's. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching all the comments from the last video I posted. And hopefully we can get back in the swing of uh, doing some more regular content on this channel.